Hello and welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, this is the 1,000 subscriber giveaway plus flip through. Might as well throw it both in there. So this is my copy. I'll flip through because I don't want to bend the spine. I'm going to keep it as pristine as possible for the giveaway. I will probably write a little note right here. But beyond that, this will be an untouched, um, and hopefully I can keep cat hair off of it too. So far she doesn't shed, she's still a baby, so. But Pop Manga Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures by Camilla de Erico. I love Camilla's work. Um, I have the Pop Manga book. I don't color in it very much because it requires a bit more creativity than I necessarily have at this point. <laughs> Um, but I do plan to and there are some pictures in here that are like I so I've got the distress inks and I've got the pan pastels and whatnot and I've got I actually ordered some stencils so I'm excited plus I also did testing in my book for every medium I own minus Copics because I didn't want anything that went through because what's the point so there are some surprises with the paper um, and just before we get started if you just want to skip through the flip through and just want to head on down to the comments down below please leave a comment um, down below and it will be uh, your number will be the order in which your comment was left and so I will do a random from that number of comments and I will choose from that um, let us go. I've got a crazy hectic week. Um, today's the 11th. Let's do a week and I will announce the winner on Thursday the 19th. Thursday, July 19th at my 9 a.m. stream, 9 a.m. Eastern stream. That is, so it'll be one week to enter for this. Just leave a comment down below, either why you want this, enter me, hi, whatever. If you have left a single comment, only one comment counts. I will not count twice. Um, just leave me a comment. And no multiple, like, what am I trying to say? No multiple accounts. Let's not game the system, please. Otherwise, the system will break and nobody will get anything. So, not that I think you guys do, but there's people out there. So, let's look in this book. I feel like reading Rainbow. Let's look in a book. So, this might actually be the page I, I write to on you guys, for you guys. Um, so, this is, it's a dust cover, so the blue is actually the book. The dust cover is actually colorable. It kind of feels like the same paper that's in the book. Very nice, very smooth. Um, and you actually get like a picture before you get to the rest of it. Let me make sure I'm all on screen here. I've seen this colored. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love this picture so much. Um, this I was testing out the distress inks and you can kind of see it right here but let me lift up and see if it can be but I have autofocus on I do there we go you see that you can see it here it's not textured but there's bits in the paper that react funny to the distress inks I'm not sure what it is, I'm not sure why, and it does that with every wet media. Um, so I'm not sure, make sure I'm in, there we go, focus. So this was my pencil test page, this is um, Pan Pastels. This is my pencil test page, let me slide it over here. So this was every media I own. So straight watercolor did fine. The super colors, so you've got those little 
flecky things, the Neo 2s, um, the art bars, you really get a lot of texture with that. Uh, the Zig Clean color, you get texture. The Tombows, you can see it really bad there. The Pit Pens, there's just this weird texture that comes out. Now, it's not gone through or anything, but there's a weird texture that comes out with any wet medium. Um, as for pencils, oh look, so you can see it in the ink tents here too. Oh, that's the Albrook Dura. This is the ink tents. Ink tents isn't quite as bad when you go out, but the Albrook Dura was really bad. But every pencil I used was excellent. Um, even the Crayolas I felt like I could really layer. So I have the Lyra Rembrandts, the Artezas. The Luminance, the Prisma, Polychromos, Ergosoft, Dick Blick, Koei Noor, Holbein's, Pro Color, Derwent Artist, which is probably the hardest pencil I own, um, Crayola, and Marco Renoir. So those are all the pencil sets I own, and I used them every, all of them. They all are excellent. Um, you can just sit there and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer. <laughs> so for people like me that really like to, to really pump in layers, got a good book here. So a little bit um, about this book and about the artist. And then we just go into some pretty, pretty pictures. Some seals isn't that adorable and and on a lot of them you have this background already the little bubbles or whatever like this one you've got the little things so these are a type of seahorse that are kind of they kind of supposed to look like seaweed so then they hook on and then they just flow with the seaweed in the ocean another seal and you've got this pattern in the background so you don't have to worry. Some of them you really don't have to worry about backgrounds with. And some of them. A seahorse. I like the play on, on words here. Puffer fish. I think that's adorable. I think this might be one of the first ones I color. I love puffer fish. Another. Um, I think it's supposed to be an axio. I really don't know how to say that. A-X-O-2. A-X-T-O-A-L, Axtol. Um, another one of those, but with a little more hair on it than they usually have. Uh, a dragonfish. Sea turtles in kelp, which I think is really cool. And a little squid with hearts on it and octopus I mean these are all pretty pretty in line with uh, a lot of the more nautical um, pictures we saw on pop manga this is just an expanse on that so this is jellyfish girl uh, goldfish or yeah goldfish and there are some boys in here so it's not all just these cute little girls are some pretty cool, neat looking Triton riding fish. And this is a very, very cute, cute book, especially if you like like sea creatures and underwater and you like the look of Camilla de Erica's. Make sure I'm not. If you like the look of her stuff, the, the sketchy look and the, the cutesy look, then this is right up your alley. Okay. In love. And another dragon. Another jellyfish. I think this is so inventive. You always see mermaids. Oh, but now you have a jellyfish lady. Another jellyfish lady. Another squid. I don't know if that's like hair everywhere. Seems like it might be. 
another axial axiodal really don't know narwhal squid and some sea monkeys sea monkeys this is kind of mixing a little bit so you have the butterflies and then you have um, the squid I like how her hair is squid tentacles interesting and a crown of squid and more goldfish a shark that's different more seahorses a catfish little boy on a uh, squid here this is neat it's very involved there's a lot going on here in these two it almost looks like it's an umbrella made of rain interesting another cute mermaids in love some more of the it's almost grayscale here this is very interesting that's different like a family why is there a bearded lady I wonder if it's supposed to be like a circus. Interesting. And just tentacles, you know, if you want to practice coloring tentacles. Another tentacle head, squid ink or whatever. Oh, this is a metal. This is going back to some of our steampunk stuff. Cool. Kind of like toys, Rubik's Cube. Bear ears and squid tentacles because why not another narwhal this is interesting like a Chinese dragon seahorse and some happy jellyfish I like that one a lot going on here I can't break it all down so this is her body I think that splits off and a bunch of puffer fish and hair, I think. Another axolotl cacti and a squid, squid cacti. Interesting. Nice little coral thing here. Cat ears and squid, because why not? Kind of. Mermaids relaxing with a bunch of birds. Another, I really like this one. I really like this one. So another dragonfish and another goldfish. And birds and this mermaid with a one of those old scuba gear helmets. Two mermaids. And then building a sand castle. And then you have the outer, which is the same as the, the inner, so it's a whole big thing. So that is Camilla de Erica's Pop Manga Mermaids. That is my copy. This is the giveaway copy. And I hope to see you all on my stream Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern and Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.